everybody, this is Lars Vemir for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 10 of our video series, Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the to-do list version 1.3 from Frank Rüter. This is the link where you can find the to-do list on Nukipedia. The to-do list is a tool that can help you to keep track of all of your tasks inside Nuke. To make the tool save your tasks as an XML file along with your Nuke script, you have to save your Nuke script first. Once you have saved your Nuke script, you can dock the to-do list panel as a custom panel, assign tasks with it, give your tasks priority numbers, which you can modify with the left and right mouse button, or you can click and drag your middle mouse button to adjust the priority number. The tool also lets you set a status for your task. You can set it to waiting, in progress, or finished. You can also use the tab key to switch to the next field and use the up and down arrow to edit the priority number or status, or you can move to the close button with the tab key and hit enter on your keyboard to delete a task. That way you can edit a task without leaving your keyboard. Furthermore, you can reverse the sorting of your tasks, hide the ones that are finished, and copy your tasks to the clipboard so you can paste them in an email or in a text file. As I've mentioned before, the to-do list creates an XML file that gets saved right next to your Nuke script. So your tasks are right back when you open up your Nuke script again. The XML file is created the first time your Nuke script is saved, and its path is stored in the project settings. If you save a copy of your Nuke script and want a new to-do list, simply update the name of the XML file in the project settings. Otherwise, subsequent script saves will all point to the same list which may or may not be what you want. Tools like the to-do list can be a useful helper in your day-to-day -day workflow with Nuke, so you don't lose track of all of the tasks you have to finish. So thanks to Frank Rüter for sharing his tool with the Nukipedia community. All right, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Vemier. Thanks for watching and goodbye, everybody.